Chapter 6 Bending Part A Centroid Concept If we want to calculate the centroid of a, a semicircle, as you can see in the figure, if we can consider a narrow strip by the length of dy. and sweep that element all the way up and down uh, in such case that it can cover the whole semicircle. And at the same time, we do know the formula for a centroid. Y bar is equal to integration of Y tilde dA over integration of dA itself. So the area of a semicircle is equal to a half of pi r squared and let's let's and our element is area of our element is da is equal to two of this mm -hmm. two times x dy and it just replaced in the formula of centroid. Let's approach the problem. So y bar is equal to integration of y times dA, 2x dy, 2 of this element, mm -hmm. over the area of a half of a circle. So if we just replace the x in this formula, based on our relation of r and y. So that's a square root of r squared minus y squared. So that's the replacement of, of, of just x. Mm -hmm. And in, let's make it a bit cleaner. So if you recall from integration formula integration of u to the power of n u prime du is 1 over n plus 1 times u to the power of n plus 1 so it means if we can create the u prime of our equation uh -huh, which we almost have that so this is our u to the power of n that's minus 2y mm -hmm the derivation of this part is, is if we can create that we have 2 times y we just put a negative sign here and cancel it cancel that with another one so it means we just create our u to the power of n u u prime so this is our u prime and that's r2 minus y squared to the power of 1 of. So that's u to the power of n. Mm -hmm. In that case, our integration would be 2 thirds of, of u to the power of n plus 1. 1 over half plus 1 is 1 and half, so 3 over 2 r squared minus y squared to the power of one and half from zero to the whole radius over the same area of semicircle. So if you do the mass, it, it just gives you y bar is equal to four r over three pi. Mm -hmm. And that almost four r over three pi, it's almost approximately a equal to 42.44 percentile of of the whole radius so that means if we do have a semicircle the centroid yc component is a just this much below a very small a small distance below this the 
50 percent so that's 42 percent 42.44 percentile of of radius if this is the whole radius up to here this is the center this is the centroid which is located here due to extra mass which is which is dragging down the whole semicircle toward uh, dragging down the centroid toward the base mm -hmm. let's solve it with different approach so we can also solve it in in a different approach which is centroid of semicircle solution 2 we can just go by a polar coordinates and develop a an element of of dr if this is r this is a small uh, portion of r and this is r d theta if this is theta this is a small derivation of theta and that's the curve or the, the other side of r element is just radius times the variation of, of angle r d theta hence our our area would be r d r d theta mm -hmm. so again in replace in formula of y bar that's y tilde da for da we do have what da is equal to r dr d theta which is here mm -hmm. and y bar if you translate the y component of r based on theta that's r sine of theta mm -hmm. if you do this integration it gives you 1 r 1 r 1 uh, r, 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 r r 2 dr that's r cubed over 3 and the other is the integration of sine of theta it's a negative cosine of theta from 0 to all the pi mm -hmm. and at the denominator it's the again the area of a semicircle if you do the mass you get the same numeric value for, for y bar is 4 r over 3 pi mm -hmm. let's let's look at a just move from 2d to 3d to see what's the centroid where is the centroid of a, a semi sphere so for for a semi sphere uh, just by a uh, intuition we can guess it should be a, a a little bit below than the centroid of circle because of the more uh, chunk of mass at uh, closer to the dome maybe let's see how that goes again if we develop an element so our element is this area Mm -hmm. and z bar if we are working in 2d we just go by z da over da we are now in 3d we just go by z dv over dv and 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 at the same time we do know the area of a semi semisphere is a half of four third of pi r cubed mm -hmm. so we replace that at the denominator and at the top at numerator we have integration from 0 to r mm -hmm. if the radius is r again z which comes from here dv p r square pi to r square times dz mm -hmm. so that's all dv mm -hmm. And if you just do the mass, it gives you z bar is equal to this, and and just replace again x. If you replace x from the hypotenuse and z, it just gives you x is equal to r x squared is equal to r squared minus z squared. If you replace x from the geometry and do the mass it just gives you this equation z bar is 3 over 2 pi r cubed times pi in parentheses z squared r squared half 
minus d to the power of 4 to over 4 from 0 to r. If you do the mass, it gives you z bar is equal uh, is equal to 3 over 8 times r mm -hmm. for a semi-sphere. And if you make a comparison between two centroid, this is a solid semicircle. Yc is 4 third over 3, before r over 3 pi, which is that that's almost 42.44 percent of r. If you just move from a 2D, from a 2D to 3D, it just gives you a YC, Y component of centroid 3, uh, 3 over 8 times radius, which is almost 37.5. You can see a, a small gap between the two centroid, and that's due to the more uh, chunk of weight for, for, for dumb closer to the end drags the centroid to the base more than a 2D shape. So the, the result is almost interesting. It just, if you want to have a conclusion, it just says formula for centroid of a semisphere, it's a bit cleaner than the formula of centroid for semicircle in, in terms of mass. The, the second equation doesn't include pi and this include pi. So it's in terms of mass, the second one doesn't include pi. And the more interesting result is the centroid for, for a semisphere is more closer to, to the base of dome due to more weight in, in, in comparison to 2D. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if we want to just compare the, the, the centroid of a thin volt semicircle, so just assume this is our thin volt semicircle, mm -hmm. and we just consider a small element of thickness t and length of curve r d theta, mm -hmm. then our dA is r d theta times t and by thin volt we, we mean r t thickness is far smaller than than the radius again y bar is integration we are in 2d y bar dt uh, y tilde that's y tilde hmm? let me modify that that's y tilde over da which is pr pi r times t so pi times r times t and then r d theta, which is r d a, and this is our y tilde, which is the again the y component of r r sine of theta. This is theta. Then by replacing the formula, it just gives you uh, This equation, mm -hmm. and if you do the mass, just y bar is equal to 2r over pi, which is almost 63.66% of r. And that's again interesting. It just says when we don't have a mass in between, it just goes higher than, than uh, the center of 50% of r. So now our centroid is 60 three percentile of R and that's interesting.